Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here, and today we're going to be checking out the nerf Samira against Aurelian Soul. So in the patch that was released today, they nerfed two aspects of Samira. So the first nerf was to her leveled up form. Previously, Samira did not have this secondary condition of resets when you start around with the attack token so it's just when you played the six cards you would rally now this is going to reset when you start around with the attack tokens so a fairly sizable nerf but not quite as big as the nerf they did to flare so this is the spell that she is able to generate whenever she is summoned or strikes so before it would be deal one to the enemy nexus or give an ally challenger now it still has deal one to the enemy nexus or give an allied samira challenger so you can only target samira with this you can no longer use it on any of your other units and that is going to greatly reduce the versatility of this card there'd be many times where you might be attacking and samira wouldn't be strong enough to kill a unit so you could have one of your other stronger units potentially give them challenger and have them challenge the unit so samira could attack safely or maybe even if it was a weaker unit you could still give them challenger so that that weaker unit would die and Samira could still attack safely. So reducing the versatility of this will really hurt. I'm still thinking that Samira will probably be a A tier and maybe even an S tier champion still with these nerfs, but I figured we might as well test them out. If you're enjoying all this Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it. All right, so here we are at the start. Let's see what we get for our power. I think I'll go with the quick draw. With Samira, you're wanting to reduce down the cost of a lot of your cards, so this will just further help with that. All right, so we have Zoe with Unstable. All right, let's get rid of the two City Breakers and even the Dash and Dandy, I think. Take the shot or lose the chance. So a little disappointing that we don't start with the attack token. That means all of our level up progress will get uh, reset. We will play one card here, but we won't play anything else. We just wanted to trigger that cost reduction so it can roll over into next round. Well, that is unfortunate. But might actually work out uh, well for us, because if we can kill this unit, we can then trigger another free attack. This should be fun. So I think this costs two, because we just drew it. So let's play another Reckoner. We're just going to keep triggering these free attacks. Alright, so let's play this to get another Ruined Reckoner. I guess we'll save the free attack and we'll just attack like this. Alright, GG. Alright, that wasn't too bad, but we also got somewhat lucky with the circumstances. I think we'll go for the Noxian Fervor. I think Renekton with that scout should be pretty good. Now let's go for the champion item chest. So Swain with Unstable. Alright, let's get rid of the tracker. We're fine with the rest. Guess we'll play our elegant edge. No one's the wiser. I think let's get the City Breaker out so we can start getting that uh, free damage every round. Alright, so we're going to trigger it like this. And sure, let's damage this here. We're trying to flood our boards. We can just overwhelm them next round. Best of us. 
All right, so we already could end the game. We'll see if they have anything to play, but we'll just open attack like this. All right, GG. So we don't really want any of these, but we'll go for the Bruiser as it's the cheapest one. Right, gain some more stats for Samira, not bad. And then Sejuani with Perfected Mana Flow. All right, let's get rid of the Dashing Dandy. I think we'll be fine with the rest. Again, not the best that we don't start with the attack token. No need to make a name for myself, just an impression. All right, so let's get Renekton on the board. See, this would be around where we would want to give Renekton Challenger because you see his effect when I challenge an enemy give me two power and one health this round this would be the perfect opportunity for us to attack with him give him Challenger and just let him destroy the enemy board unfortunately that's not really going to be possible for us but we'll let him get the scout attack off we will play the style of shot here since we know he'll refund it when he hits the Nexus, and we're wanting to play a lot of very cheap spells to level up. Nothing escapes my watch. All right, here we're wanting to clear the board of enemies and summon more units, as well as being as efficient with our mana refund as possible. That's why we're going with this Death's Hand, because it's going down by a 3 cost, whereas even this one over here is just getting reduced down by 2. Yeah, I think we'll use this other Death's Hand to again get rid of a unit and summon one of our own. So we should be able to win here. Ready the torches. Yep, GG. Guess we'll get some more copies of the Ruthless Predator. I think we'll go for the Boomerang Blade. There'll likely be some opportunity where we can get this in our opening hand, and just as we're playing all of our very cheap spells, this is going to get reduced down, so we can play this for either free or at a greatly reduced cost, uh, which could be pretty strong, so we'll grab this. Let's see what we get from the shop. <laughs> More Boomerang Blades. Sure, your credit cards cost one less. Well... We're not creating too many cards, and most of the cards we are creating are already free, but this will potentially help with, like, Ruthless Predator, where you're creating two copies of the card, and they're going to cost one. This is going to make them cost nothing. And then also the non-leveled version of Samira is going to create Flares in hand, which cost one. So while she's not leveled up, this could help. And then this could really help us in the future if we also get something like Blade's Edge, where it's creating that fleeting one-cost spell at a round. So we'll pick it up. And we'll just spend the 70 gold here to get this item. Alright, so we have Tom Kench with Power Overwhelming. Alright, pretty good opening hand. We like to have the Boomerang Blade in that opening hand so we can get reduced down throughout the entire game. So we'll play the Flare here. I don't know if they... Well, previously, Flare had a bug where you couldn't play it for a zero cost if you didn't have any mana. But since we're trying to test them out, we'll see if they fix that bug or not. So let's play a Warning Shot. You cannot hide forever, Again, this is a situation where I'd want to play that Flare to give Renekton Challenger. All 
Alright, it looks like they are letting us play it for a zero cost, so glad they got that fixed. You spurn my gift. Protect us. Hope they're watching. All right, so we're two spells away from being able to level up. We'll be able to level up and rally next round. I think let's maybe play like this. We'll find our parade. Way to clear their board. And we could play other cards, but we already have more than enough damage to end the game, so we'll just attack like this. Alright, GG. So while I want to get more copies of Samira, Quick Strike Blade with Scout is very strong because it essentially makes you have a rally. So we'll grab this, even though we want to get more copies of Samira, this is going to be a stronger upgrade. Well, can't argue with Duplicate. I want to get more champion items, so we have Gangplank with Unyielding. Uh, pretty good opening hand, I think we'll get rid of this though. The Noxian Fervor. Ooh, perfect. Rune Reckoner. So we're probably just going to end up rallying and leveling up this round. I, hungry. I guess rallying twice. So there's a level up and a rally. No, uh, I guess that was. Oh, it's not going to be an OTK, right? They have unyielding. Fun. Oh well. Still pretty good. So that progress we've made is sadly going to get uh, reset here, but we'll just be able to open attack and end the game. Yeah, see now it's back down to zero, whereas before it would have kept any progress we made that round, but it's fine. At least for this, this fight. Don't really want any of these. I guess we'll go with the Spell Slinger, just so... We might have a little bit of control, but I yeah, don't really want any of these. I think we'll use a reroll here, see if we can get something a little bit better. Um, Iceborne Gauntlet's not bad, so I guess we'll go with, go with that. So we have Poppy with Power Overwhelming. Poppy also got buffed this patch to so one extra attack, so we can see how that uh, affects it. Alright, we don't need two Boomerang Blades. We want to get our champions in our opening hand, as well as the Ruined Reckoner.
Well, our Iceborne Gauntlet's not going to be effective, but that's fine. Don't ask for permission or forgiveness. So we're going to use a Flare here since her thing is when I'm summoned or strike, create a Flare in hand if you don't have one. We're going to want to play more of those cheap spells. So we want to get rid of our Flare so she can generate a new one. Right, let's play a City Breaker for free. Trying to fill out our board, do as much damage as possible, and play as many cards so that we can just rally and end the game. Don't hold anything back. I won't. Isn't it thrilling? Alright, GG. Try to keep up. Blink and you miss me. Guess we'll go for some more Ruthless Predators. Alright, let's see what we get from the shop here. This isn't bad, but especially when we're trying to win in like the very first round. I think I'd want something that's a little bit better for us. Let's use a reroll here. Sure, this could give us something uh, decent. So I guess getting this Hero's Horn could be pretty strong, because this is also Samira's champion spell, so this could give us essentially an infinite cycle of constantly playing them over and over again. Uh, so, yeah, let's, let's go with that. I'm a little worried that if we get this and we play Samira in the first round, this is going to make us have too many cards where some of our zero-cost Cannon barrages are going to get uh, burnt off because our hand's too full. So I'm actually going to hold off on getting this. And yeah, let's just leave. I guess we'll go for the Mage Seeker. It's going to make this run kind of ridiculous. All right, so Katarina with Perfected Mana Flow. Uh, we'll get rid of the Ruthless Predator, I think. We'll hold on to... Actually, we'll re-roll the City Breaker. Play the Daring Demolisher. I guess we should have. So we should have attacked first with these two units and then played Renekton because he would have rallied and then he probably wouldn't have died. So that was a bit of a misplay on my part. So these two have Challenger, but these are the ones we don't want to get blocked since they're going to have the strongest attack. So yeah, we'll just go like this, I guess. I don't your name, but I don't care. And we we're fine with Renekton and dying that time since we just want to do as much damage to them as possible. Alright, GG. Yeah, gain more copies of our Elegant Edge, not bad. Alright, so Mage Seeker. This is gonna be ridiculous. So yeah, all of our spells are fleeting, but now when we play a spell that isn't Final Spark, we create a Final Spark in hand, which is this right here. Deal four damage to an enemy.
Well, let's get rid of Ariel. Jinx with Power Overwhelming. We'll get rid of the Bruiser and Noxian Fervor. Well, there goes their blockers. Now this is going to be silly. Uh, all the lasers. Yeah, we'll attack like this. Come on, you sorry lot. And we should have more than enough to rally again if we need to. GG. All right, go over here for the 1-1 one, one and Dragon's Tooth, giving us a nice amount of stats and scaling. Don't really want to go for any of these, really. Let's try a reroll here. This, so, this can really screw you over for... Uh, Samira, because then you start every round with the attack token, so it's harder to level up. Somehow I don't really think that's going to be too much of a weakness for us, though, when you just saw what happened last game. Alright, Draven with Duplicate. Alright, we'll get rid of most of these. Definitely want the Reckoner. The most important thing is just that we draw Samira. Alright, that should be GG. <laughs> We'll just attack like this and then go crazy with all of our other uh, cards. Alright, so, GG. <laughs> we could have pushed way more damage. Alright, getting more copies of Elegant and Edge. Focusing Crystal, pretty good. Let's see what we can get for the shop. Eh. Could help us with gaining our level up, and would help us with our Lux Laser Beams. But honestly, it's just not that fun. I want something more enjoyable, so let's try a reroll. Sure, that should be fun. Yeah, I don't really care about any of these. Alright, Misfortune with Perfected Mana Flow. Alright, that should be pretty good. They're 
All right, so let's just open attack. Looking for trouble? It found you. We'll play our Renekton for free. Forever, and maybe let's do an infinite cycle. Want to prove yourself? Now's your chance. Unless it draws another Renekton, which wouldn't be great. Oh no! Here we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. All right, looks good. Sure, let's get this off. We have to be careful that we don't rally and use up our attack token. Alright, so let's attack like this. And now we can rally and attack again. Don't hold anything back. I won't. Isn't it thrilling? No problem. Alright, GG. Sure, let's buff up our Death's Hand. Not bad. Darius with level up. Well, let's get rid of the Daring Demolisher and the Bruiser. Let's... I guess we will play Stylish Shot first. This is going to go off twice, giving us two more. That shouldn't be too bad. I'll play our Elegant Edge for free. Well, that's just... Yeah, sure, we'll do Elegant Edge, I guess. Line up for your beat downs or go all at once. And I guess these are also all gonna be free since <laughs> it's a created card. That's kind of funny. All right, we don't really want them attacking, so let's try to get rid of them with the final sparks. Let me change up my style. All right, a little unfortunate, but not really gonna be that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and attack. Fun. We're about to rally. That's why we're not playing anything else. Beautiful and brutal, just how I like it. Isn't it thrilling? No problem. Yeah, let's just open attack again right away. There's so much we can do here with different infinite combos and filling out the entire board, but all a little overkill. GG. Sure. That'll be fine. All right, Aurelian Soul with Power Overwhelming. Can we one-shot him as well? All right, let's get rid of some of these. I guess we'll hold on to the Death's Hand. I'll get rid of the Demolisher. Will we be able to win in the first round? Let's see. All right, we'll play this again just to get more. Although I think I'll play a... F well... Yeah, sure, let's go for the Elegant Edge again. 
My mama would love you. All right, let's maybe fill out our board a little bit. My kind of girl, gorgeous and dead. Neat and quiet. <laughs> My mama would love you. And let's attack before we rally again. I guess let's maybe fill out our board before we go crazy with all the spells. Alright, GG. All right, that was definitely a very good run. Now, we did get very lucky in the end with getting some pretty crazy powers, such as, well, all of these last ones are really, really good, especially the Duplicate and the <laughs> Mage Seekers. But even without that, she still does feel quite strong. Definitely would still put her in the S tier. If we look at the first couple of games where we really had no powers, we were still winning in the first round or two. Now, this is definitely max level Samira. I can't go back and play a low level Samira, so I do think these nerfs will impact your leveling up. It also does hurt your versatility, but overall, I think she will still be fine and is still a S tier champion. If you enjoyed that, definitely like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.